Guess what guys, Big Pete got another set of Chodo Ultraman Series 3 and I have to say, Series 3 is quite interesting because you get two new characters from a recent Ultraman series and a classic which is Ultra 7. The additional expression uh, pack this time around is also a bit different. Not only do you get the typical stage building and sort of stand, but you also get a special Ultra Hawk number one. So that is actually quite interesting. So you get both Alpha, Beta and Gamma. You can actually combine them into Ultra Hawk. Now the kits actually look very nice. These are candy toys. If you look at the eyes, the chest timer and also on some of the effect parts, the clear plastic that we used this time around for Chodo Ultraman candy toy is actually very very nice and highly in detail as well. What I really like about this time around is the inclusion of the uh, weapons. I really like how Banda has done a better job this time around of using a clear red plastic for the orb dark ring. So if you look at the orb dark ring, man, that clear plastic they've used and also the clear effect part for Ultra 7 light beam white shot it looks amazing indeed. But of course, because this is a candy toy, so there was some defect on our set. And later on, Big Pete is going to show you how he actually repaired them by just using a simple paint. It's actually quite easy to apply on this toy to make them look spanking brand new. And obviously, because these are candy toys, kids, when they play with them, they rough them out a little bit, but it's actually quite easy to repair. So Big Pete is going to show us right now, as you can see here, this is the sword for Juggler's Juggler. Uh, he's just going to use a brush with a pelican paint. He's just going to paint over them and it's actually quite easy as you can see here how he actually painted over the missing paint job for the sword. And of course, you can also use the same silver paint to paint the silver essence lining on Ultra 7. It's actually that simple. So what's our verdict? Well, for a candy toy, I have to say Ultra 7 looks like the winner here. It's definitely the reason why I will actually buy this set. I think Ultra 7 looks amazing for Ultra Man Chodo series. I love the um, clear plastic eyes, the timer, but of course the inclusion of the additional pair of hands with the eyes like attached, that is what I think everybody wants. And the clear effect parts for the ultra wide shot for ultra 7 looks amazing indeed so if you've been collecting series 1 and 2 i think a series 3 is definitely a must have because you can actually combine all the three different world stage of buildings to create a very nice drama effect for toy photography which i hopefully we can shoot in a near future project video that we're gonna be shooting uh, so let me know what you guys think about this series do you guys still collect shodo ultraman or have you actually watched towards Chodo Ultraman. So they are still producing two lines at the moment from what I understand from Bandai Candy Toys. So for us, I think Shodo is definitely not a series that I would get because they actually have painted eyes and also painted uh, chest timer instead of actually using a clear part like what we're getting here with the Chodo series. So Chodo series, definitely the way to go for Ultra fans. And so there you go. That's our video review for Chodo Ultraman Series 3. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any comments on the Ultraman Candy Toy series, do drop us a note in the comment section down below. And if you're new to our channel, hey, please subscribe and follow our channel for more Ultraman toy news and reviews.